And I wanted to get a look at a mantis that's in pre-molt. Hopefully we can catch the entire process with a time lapse, but I want to at least take uh, attention to um, different signs that your mantis is in pre-molt. It's one of the moments where a lot of new mantis keepers get a little bit nervous because the mantis stops eating and starts slowing down. And that can also be signs of issues, but it's, it's uh, pretty common as a process before molting. And so it's important to have humidity before a molt so that the mantis can drink enough to build up the fluid pressures to be able to molt clearly. It's less important to mist or get the mantis wet before, like, for the molt. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the moisture and humidity issues usually end up being the mantis needing to be in that situation before and while prepping for the molt more than when they're molting. Um, here we can see some of the signs you have a really distended, full-pressured abdomen that's kind of hanging away from the body a little bit more clearly than a natural stance. They also really square up their feet and hang on and really get a good um, position in which to drop from. A lot less interaction. So usually this species is very interactive with stimulus and will crouch or jump or try to get away. And you're going to have a mantis that, like I said, seems to be slowing down. Um, one of the things I notice when they're really close to pre-molt is their mandibles and pedipalps and other pieces of their mouth kind of twitch around and almost seem to be prepping themselves for, because that, that part gets extracted as well. And so the entire skin needs to come off of the mantis. This is a pre-sub adult, and I'll show you a sub-adult uh, pre-molt as well to compare, but there's these little wing buds right here, and that area, even with pre-subs and younger, do swell a little bit before molt, um, but that can be contrasted to a really large, obvious one right on there. When they're sub-adult, it's, it's really obvious when they're in pre-molt, because it looks like they're wearing a little backpack. Um, but yeah, so this is a pre-sub-adult, so when she molts, she'll be sub-adult of an orchid mantis, and she's about to molt, so I hope we can get that as a time lapse, but I at least wanted to give a good example of what about to molt looks like because like I said some people this is kind of a nervous part of the hobby if you're new and if you're not new and just concerned because you have a very expensive insect so yeah let's let's take a look at the rest of this process hopefully and taking a look at two sub-adult orchids one of which is in pre-molt so you can see the difference in the size on their wings. You have this one with this giant backpack, a very fully engorged wing buds. So those will cover her full abdomen after her next molt. And she's not as close to molting. She's got a couple more days left. I'm gonna get her into some high humidity and make sure she's well hydrated before molting. And then here, this little one, I'm just cleaning her toes just molted to this size. You can see that wing bud on the back is very thin. She's just had a meal, so she's cleaning that up. Tidy little animals. So there you go. And this species does jump Geronimo pretty aggressively when they feel worried, so that's another sign that when they're in pre-molt, they just don't have that jumping tendency as often. They don't just attack if they're being supervised, but don't house them together. This isn't, this handling session is not representative of how these are kept. But luckily they're not venomous, so if you are working with them and they grab each other, you're not going to lose one immediately due to an injection. But there you go. So two sub-adult orchid mantises ready to show off their colors and their size on their next size up adventure. And already just amazing specimens. There you go. We'll try to get a video or at least the the final results of their sister who's molting up to this size.
And here's that female uh, a couple hours later. You can see she's holding her arms out a little bit and is just stark still. And I've been darkening the room so that she can relax. I've noticed they seem to like to molt in the evenings or overnight. So I'm trying to stimulate that calmness. So we'll get the lights back off and I'll keep as good of attention as I can on it. But she's definitely within a couple hours of molting. So she'll start pumping her body in a way that'll hopefully be able to get that time lapse. So we first we miss the first part of the smolt because cameras die when they're being stuck watching something for so long. But here we have her pulling out from her molt in the middle of the night. And we'll try to get a good time lapse of the rest of that. You can see she's already left this abdomen area that's empty is dropping down out of that. So yeah, let's take a good video of that. her fully released from her original molt. So we have a sub-adult orchid here that just cleared. Looking great. We'll watch her finish up and try to oh, not disturb her too much. Her free of her molt. Looking amazing. Missed that first part when she broke through, but we got most of the rest of it. Freeing of legs and limbs. Such a vulnerable moment for them. Amazing process. petals out. I haven't really had issues with molting with this species. They've been pretty easy to deal with. I think the biggest hurdle for this species is that the males need to be so much younger than the females, so you really have to buy a group and then wait for a few months and buy another group. But past that, they're great to keep. Really interactive. A little bit jumpy a bit when she's detach, they hold on with their abdomen for a while and then they lock on with their feet and pull themselves out. So we'll watch that happen next. on a little longer, but I guess not this time. A little too wiggly. And here she is after her molt. 
She did a great job. Looks really nice. She's a little hoppy right now, so... There we go. Now a sub-adult orchid mantis. Looking beautiful. Awesome! Thanks for watching the process on uh, orchid mantis molting. Let me know if you had any questions or want to see any of the other critters, and if you want more of this content, don't forget to please the algorithm, like, and subscribe. Have a great one. You missed that first couple minutes, but woo! <laughs> and she's jumping onto the camera. Whee! Yeah, I gave her a little time, a whole day to dry out, so her abdomen's no longer distended post-molt, and she obviously has the hops. Oh!